Hey everybody, Ann here, and I tell you what, we had a heck of a storm last night. I was really, really worried because it was pounding down so hard. I was afraid to even get up and look out the window. I didn't. So I was afraid that my planners were going to get ruined, but thankfully, not a thing happened to them. Definitely not this one. And this one turned out just fine too. Um, so that's kind of awesome actually. I don't have to water them for a little bit and it's supposed to rain all week so who knows maybe I won't have to water them for a while. <laughs> but that's not really what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is the hysteria that is spreading like wildfire all over the news, all over the internet and that is the coronavirus COVID-19. Honestly people it has to stop. It really has just reached a level of ridiculousness that I don't even, I can't even put it into words. You know, they're shutting down, they, the NBA season has been put off, closing amusement parks, closing gatherings, everything is coming to a halt because of this irrational fear of this virus. Now, don't get me wrong, it's serious. It, it'll get you sick and it has killed people, but as of today, the death count is 40 people. 40 people in the United States. And I mean, I, I went into Walmart yesterday and people are walking around with masks on. <sighs> you guys, seriously. So let's look at a few facts. According to the CDC, here are the areas that the virus is most active. China, Iran, most of Europe, and South Korea. Now, us in the US here, do any of us live there? No, we don't. So stop it. The death toll count in America is 40 as of today. So let's take a look at some of the other deaths from other things that we are likely to contract. In fact, much more likely to be affected by. These numbers represent how many people get sick from the flu in the United States. That's a big number, don't you think? And here's the death toll count, 20,000 to 52,000 deaths in the United States due to the flu. And you don't see us shutting everything down and rushing out and every single day buying out hordes of sanitizers and toilet paper, do we? This has gotten out of hand. And check this out, in the United States, more than seven people per hour die a violent death. That's a big number too. And if you think you're immune to a violent death, well, I got news for you, sister. And check out these numbers, more than 400,000 people die from homicide each year. Nope, you're not immune to that either, but you don't see us shutting everything down because people are out there killing each other. Car accidents, yep. U.S. Every year, 6 million people die. More than 90 people die in car accidents a day. Every day. 3 million people in the U.S. are injured every year in car accidents. But you don't see people shutting down the roads because of those numbers, do you? Yeah, just a few interesting facts to put things in perspective. So what do we have to do to avoid getting this man-stopper of a virus? Well, very, very simple basic instructions. You don't need tinctures, you don't need oils, you don't need, you don't even need hand sanitizer. So here is what the CDC says you should do. The number one recommendation from the CDC is clean your hands often. That simple. Wash your hands with soap and water. Oh my gosh, for 20 seconds. If soap and water are not ready available, go ahead and use that hand sanitizer and avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with your unwashed hands. It's not brain surgery, folks. This is simple common sense. Wash your freaking hands. And here's another fun fact. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. I mean, who would have thought that that would help you not get the virus? It's, it's really very simple, basic, common sense rules to not getting sick. And what steps can be taken to help protect others? Since you know what, we need to think about others, not just ourselves. So here's what you need to do. 
I bet you didn't even think about this one. Stay home if you're sick. Yeah, if you're coughing and hacking and sneezing and likely to spread droplets of your infectious bacteria all over the place, stay home. Don't go to work. Don't go shopping. Don't go to the Walmarts. Stay home. Now, I know this is earth-shaking information, and you've probably never heard this before, but cover your mouth and nose when you cough and sneeze. My goodness. And throw your tissues in the trash. Just don't dump them anywhere, you know, around your house or in your vehicle or wherever where other people might be likely to go. And wash your hands after you cough and sneeze. It is basic stuff, people. If you're sick, wear a face mask, definitely. And you should only go out to things that you have to go out for, and that is to the doctors, basically. Don't share your germs with other people. If you're sick, stay home. If you have to go out, wear a face mask. And on the flip side, if you are not sick, you do not need to wear a face mask unless you are caring for someone who is sick and they are not able to wear a face mask. Face masks may be in short supply, and they are, and should be saved for caregivers. So all you people walking around in the Walmarts with your face masks on, oh my goodness, get a clue. And you know what? Clean and disinfect things. Clean all the things in your house that you're likely to touch. Tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desk phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks. And if surfaces are dirty, clean them. Again, use detergent or soap and water prior to disinfection basic stuff folks and lastly diluting your household bleach to use as a disinfectant five tablespoons or one-third cup bleach per gallon of water or four teaspoons of bleach per quart of water and you don't even need to buy wipes you can use a washcloth if you can spare a washcloth because it's going to get bleached just wipe stuff down with this solution and you're going to be just fine now, I know that the nature of this video sounds mean-spirited, like I'm poking fun at all of you, but I am. That is precisely what I'm doing because you're being ridiculous. All of the instructions in this video is all you need to know. And the fact that this is being so hyped by the media, it just, you know, it kind of makes you wonder. It makes you pause and wonder why, why are they making such a big deal out of this? You know, is it, is it the news media that's doing it or is it all of us who just absolutely feed into our need to be hysterical and outraged about something? So take a deep breath, folks. You're going to be fine. You're not going to be sick if you follow these simple rules. And you know what? I, I've been a nurse for the better part of 30 years. So I'm just not you know, blowing smoke here. I know what to do. I've been around plenty of sick people with all kinds of infectious diseases, much, much worse than this virus. And I know how not to get sick. And so I'm sharing this information. I'm imparting my wisdom on all of you. This is all you need to do. Wash your hands. Don't go out with your sick, if you're sick, and stay away from sick people. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.